What's up everyone, this is Max Red. Today for our Cubase Quick Tips, we'll cover how to export your audio and what all the settings are about. So let's get started. When we are working on a project, there will be times we need to export audio in different formats for different reasons. Let's say we have completed our project and we are ready to export some audio files. We would open up our mixdown options by going to File, Export, Audio Mixdown. In our Mixdown dialog window, there are several sections to address. Our first section is the Channel section. This section displays the available channels for export. You can expand or collapse the list, select a single track or multiple tracks. If exporting a mixdown in stereo, maybe just a single stereo out or select multiple tracks like groups if you are exporting stems. Next, we look at the range section. Normally you would set your locators and that area would be included in the bounce out, but maybe you are exporting individual sections such as a verse or a chorus. So you could just export that range using cycle markers. You would have to set up a marker track and set up cycle markers beforehand. Here we are selecting which sections to export. Next, we look at file location and naming scheme. This is where you name your files and by clicking the gear icon on the right, you can change the entire naming scheme. For the location, I have a folder previously set up. You can also use the project audio or the mixdown folder. In this dropdown, you can also address any naming conflicts for any duplicate titles. In the file format section, you can select the file format that best suits your needs from MP3, WAV, FLAC, etc. You can also address the sample rate and the desired bit depth. In this section, you would select if you want an interleaved or stereo file, mono, or even split channels. Also, the settings for surround sound are here. Depending on what type of file you're exporting, you could select a single or multiple channels and then select stereo or mono. The effects section is important because you can turn off effects, sends, and inserts. If you are sending dry files to be mastered, this is very handy. Let's listen to our project a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. In this project, I have some inserts such as EQ or effects. I also have sends going to delays and reverbs. Let's open up our dialog window once more and then we can select which channels to select and whether we export with inserts, sends, or just keep them dry. If we were sharing files for a mix, we would take off any effects before we send the files away. This section tells Cubase what you want to do with the files after exporting. You can bounce the audio back in, create a project, upload to streaming, do nothing, or save the audio where it can be later used as a clip in your audio pool. The last section is the export queue. I don't ever use this, but it can come in handy when exporting large projects and files. That's all I have for today. Please subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment and a like to see more videos like this. Thank you.